Thanks for staying with us. We're joined now by meteorologist Elise Delanar. You've been going outside on your dinner breaks and enjoying how beautiful it is outside. Yes, you have to take advantage of it because I know I'm a big proponent of having lower dew points, so that's just fantastic in itself. But the sunshine has just been great. So it's gorgeous, and a lot of our viewers are taking advantage of it, of it as well. I can't talk. Yes, <laughs> but they're watching all the animals who are also taking advantage yes, of it. Yes, they have. I do have some viewer pictures. One is a squirrel that seems to be looking for something in a tree. That was from Carrie. She said she was just enjoying the nature in her backyard. And we have another picture from John who was down on the farm and took a really cool shot of some cows out there. So, again, if you have any pictures, fun things that you and your family are doing, weather pictures, animal pictures, they could be funny, they could be cute, send them on in. We want to show them. We want to see them because these are great. All right, let's take a look outside. We're seeing sunshine in downtown Lexington. Temperatures currently at 80 degrees. The dew point still in the 50s, so it's still very comfortable. Winds are out of the west southwest at 9 miles per hour. Temperatures around the viewing area just a little bit warmer compared to yesterday. We're seeing a few more 80 degree temperatures, also some upper 70s. So it's currently 80 degrees in Irvine, 79 in Richmond, as well as Somerset, 82 in Frankfurt, as well as Danville. Moorhead, you are sitting at 81 degrees. Pineville, you are at 83 degrees, so still some great weather outside. We've been seeing plenty of sunshine and staying dry through the viewing area. But taking a look off to the north, you can see some shower, even some storm activity. This is all thanks to a weak cold front that is slowly moving into the viewing area. But we still have dry dew points, so a lot of this activity will be fizzling out because it's going to interact with that drier air. So you can see dew points around the viewing area, still generally in the 50s, closer to 60 the further north you go. So they've got more moisture in the air, so they're seeing more of the activity. But it really will start to fizzle out a little bit more as it reaches us. And it will be moving in generally after sunset. You can see probably some extra clouds building in between 8 and 9 o'clock, and then we will see some of those isolated showers trying to push in from the north. But again, a lot of the activity fizzling out, and generally we're going to be looking at some drier conditions as we head through the overnight. So it will be a drier start for your Wednesday, more sunshine, just a little bit cooler, generally some upper 70s. So that cold front will help to keep temperatures just a few degrees cooler than what we are seeing today, but still not too bad and dry as we head into Wednesday night. Tonight, though, again, just some isolated showers, temperatures in the upper 50s. Tomorrow, another great day. Get outside, take lunch out. We'll see more sunshine. Temperatures around noon, about 71 degrees. Tomorrow, though, a high overall in the upper 70s. Still some more sunshine. And tomorrow, still a great day to get out to the pool. There's a look at your pool deck forecast. We'll see sunshine throughout the day. You'll still want to wear plenty of sunscreen, of course. And here's a look at the seven day forecast. Still some great weather over the next few days. By Thursday, though, temperatures will be a little bit warmer, the mid 80s, and it's going to start to feel a little muggy. But hey, we're still going to be seeing that sunshine. So you something can to look still to. go out to the pool yes. and escape it. The weekend, though, a little soggier. All right. We're, we won't look ahead to that yet. We're Focus just going to enjoy now. the yeah. now, the present. All right. <laughs> thank you, Elise.